There's no need to replant new shoots after harvesting. The culms are simply cut at the base and continue to grow. In fact, some bamboo can grow as much as a foot or 10 centimeters in 24 hours. As the plants are not removed from the soil, there is no soil erosion. The harvesting process has very low impact on the environment as the cut culms are removed by hand. Therefore, unlike cutting down regular trees, minimal timber tracks are necessary. In addition, the factories are in very close proximity to the plantations, so transport is kept to a minimum. The raw bamboo poles are split into two meter sections called fingers. For strand woven bamboo, the fingers are broken down into loose strands. Bamboo fibers are much longer than timber fibers, giving bamboo an excellent tensile strength. Carbonizing is the process whereby the raw bamboo fibers are steamed under high pressure to carbonize the water and sugar in the bamboo in order to create the warm, dark coffee color. These strands are then dried in low heat kiln to remove all excess water. These strands are then stored to allow climatization before the manufacturing process may begin. Next, the bamboo strands are soaked in water-based eco-friendly glue. They are dried and then placed in a mold where they are compressed under extreme pressure to form a bean. The molds are then baked in an oven for 24 hours. They are then removed from the mold and allowed to cure for up to 6 weeks. These beams resemble railway sleepers, however, they are 3 times denser than teak. The beams are then cross-cut through a multi-bladed saw, turning into flooring planks in one go. Plank dimensions vary depending on what size planks are required. The planks are once again stored to acclimatize for another three weeks. The raw planks then go through a finishing process. Up to nine coats of filler, sealant, anti-UV and finishing coats are applied on a continuous conveyor belt. All products used are eco-friendly and contain no formaldehyde. After each coat, the plank is dried using infrared lights and then sanded to create a better bond for the next application. After the finishing process, the planks go through a fully automated process to determine what we call the fixing system. Essentially, this is to prepare the planks for installation. There are two methods of installation. 